Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how can we actually do the migration, but this time from S4 HANA. So we're not going to do the whole process over and again, doing the, uh, as we've talked about from the previous videos, in any migration project, first we have to extract the data from the legacy system, then we have to cleanse the data, then we have to upload the data, then we have to reconcile the data. We've seen all the process when we did the uh, the migration earlier from the from the from the from the ECC system. Now we're going to be talking about S4 HANA. Okay, first of all, how do you know if you are, for example, okay, the, now the system that you're looking at right here, it is an S4 HANA. The easiest easiest way. If you want to know this is an S4 HANA uh, system or not, you should go to SE16 or S16N and check if you have the magical table we call it the AC DOCA. This is one of the biggest change between the AC between the S4 HANA and the ACC. So if you go to SE16, for instance, I'll say here AC DOCA. So this table is called Universal Journal, and it's already there. Now, uh, I want to actually do migration. I want to bring data into the cost center. Same thing which we did with ECC. Now we want to bring um, cost centers from a legacy system. We know the table for the cost center is CSKS. CSKS and I already have configured a, a control and area HM1. I just want to show you what is uh, the cost centers out of it. As you can see here, these are the cost centers I created manually. So I want to create now a, a program to actually upload master data into the S4 HANA. How can we do it? So the entire video today is going to talk about how can you migrate into S4 HANA? How can you migrate? Whether it's a cost center, whether it's a profit center or, or, or GL, whatever. So in ECC, we used LSMW, but in S4 HANA, we use the migration cockpit which is different 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 tool different functionality okay if you guys remember the lsmw okay where we come here the system is going to go and create a project sub project and object this is what we created in ecc so the lsmw functionality still exists in here still it's available for us but we're not going to use it usually in s4 hana we do not use lsmw we use LS, we use migration cockpit. So I'm going to now jump into the system and I'll show you how easy it is to do migration in S4 HANA. Way, way easier than uh, than than in ECC. So we'll start to go together right now and let's go on this journey. Please buckle up and be ready to actually migrate with us. And uh, to do that, we go LT. Okay, let me just come back here into the system. LTMC. Okay, this is the T code that you want to go to. It's going to actually open a, a web-based version, which is like a Fiora-based or web-based version. All what you need to do, say create, so you can create your project. So you're going to create the project and give it any name you want. I'll say here, for example, cost center upload. Okay, this is the, the name that I want. And I'll say create cost center upload. So this is my project right now. And the system is going to ask me, what kind of object do you want to upload? Do you want to upload banks? you want to upload uh, uh, GL? And I, for me, I want to upload cost centers. So you could actually go scroll, like look down here and find the cost centers. Alternatively, I like to usually just come here and just search for the cost center. And it's going to show you where is the cost center. Here's the cost center. Just double click on it. Now, we are and just ignore the warning. So what we're doing right now, we're actually telling the system what kind of master data that we're trying to upload using the migration cockpit. I just said here, I want to upload the cost center. And as soon as you say, I want to upload this object, which is a cost center, the system is going to give you the screen where you could download the template. You don't have to build the template out of your mind, just like what we did with LSMW. The system gives you the template. So I click here, download the template. And I could just open it right here open it as you can see here it looks so weird so i'm gonna just close it oh, okay i'm gonna download it again no problem i'm gonna download it again just save it and just open the folder so this is now it's downloaded for you it's an xml file i don't like it in this format i like it usually in the excel format so let me just open the excel it's easier for me i'm gonna open the excel uh my excel is trying to open the, okay well, let me just see where is my Excel. Oh, it's right here, actually. I could just actually open the Excel right here. And now, at the same time, okay, you see here is your, your XML file. As you can see, here is the type XML file that you downloaded. This is, this is what I downloaded. I'm just going to drag it here. It's going to bring all the information as the template that is needed. But make sure that you're enable editing. Okay. Now, 
the system actually give me all the fields. All what I need to do is just give my data. So now I'm going to give my data. I know my control and area is AHM1. We've seen that before. On AHM1 for, uh, sorry, let me have a cost center. I'll say 3005, 3005. And it's valid from, let's say from zero, from January 1st, 19, uh, 1950, for example, until December 31st, uh, the end of life, 9999. And I want to give a, a cost center name. I'll say here, for example, finance, Department, also the department. I'll say here description. Just leave the this, can I just put my name here, Ahmed. And anything with asterisk, just like this, that means it's a required field. So I'm gonna put here my name as well. I'll say here, okay, Ahmed. And I could put department category. I'll say one for the category. Uh, hierarchy is AHM1. And I'll come here, AHM1. Uh, currencies, US dollars. Uh, profit center is not required, but I would like to give 2,000 profit centers. So I could actually just add as many records as I want. I could let me just try to add just like a few more records here. Okay. Oops. Does it like that? Okay. Does it like that? I want to just add one more. It doesn't. I want to add one more. AHM. AHM one. Instead of T05, I'm gonna say T06. Um, same date. On zero one, zero one. 1950 and let's say here 31st 12 1999 999 oops missing one nine right here uh let's say here production production department uh i'm gonna put my name here just so i can identify put my name here as a responsible just so i can identify it easily uh use dolls USD and 2000. Okay. Technically, if you have like a, like, like, okay, oh, 31st, does it like that one? Do they have extra nine here? 31st, 12, oops, I'll say 12, 31st, 9999, and I click enter. There you go. So, anyways, this is, you just upload the template, upload the data. So make sure it's it's cleansed data. Make sure it's good data. I don't want to I don't want to give so many fields, but let's say I have two cost centers I want to upload. Oh, now all what you need to do is just you save it. Make sure you save it in a place where you could get get back to it easily. I'm going to save it in the desktop for now. I'll say here it's uh, upload four. So this is my file. I'll say here upload four. Remember we have cost center four and five, or five and six. Upload. Uh, I'll say upload upload four and enter say yes it's okay it's enter upload four and as you can see here we want to upload uh two cost centers t005 and t006 let me close this one and let me close this one i don't need this one anymore now let's go get back to our cockpit right here migration cockpit so we downloaded the template we upload and we filled in the template wonderful okay download the template fill it out then you have to upload the the filled in template so you click here, upload the template, upload the file, and you just come here and you say, you just find your file. My file is e, starts by en, it's upload four. So here's my, for, my my file, and I give it a name. I'll say here, cost center, cost center, T005 and six. And I'll say upload. And as you can see here, as soon as you say upload, it's gonna come here, you have to highlight it, and you have to activate it. And once you activate it, you should be able to start transferring. So I'll say start transfer right now. And ignore the warning, say yes, okay. And now the system is actually trying to take you through the process. Okay, you see here, this is now the bar where it has to be 100%. System's trying to upload it for you in the background. Uh, it's much faster than uh, definitely the LSMW. So I'll say okay, close. And as you can see here, the system will bring into like all this information, to, then you just say next. If you have an error, you'll say error, but you don't have error now. So now this is the mapping process. Okay, you just select all these, uh, select all, select all these process, and I'll say confirm the mapping. I'm just confirming the mapping because I'm not doing any changes. 
from whatever is in the Excel sheet. So for example, for this one here, control an area, let's start to see what, what is actually the issue. We'll have to actually get rid of it. So as you can see here, in the system, we have A000 as the, 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 the control and area as default. So I want to actually give my control and area, AHM1, because I'm using different control and area. I'll say AHM1 and I'll save it. As you can see here, you have no more errors. That's good. So you go here to the next. And let's just, the progress goes all the way, 100%. As you can see, it's 100%. And you'll say close. As you can see here, you're going to go to the next one as well. So click next. You just go through the prompt. Go through the prompt. If there's an error message, you'll see red circle where it says, okay, error. You have to fix it. You have to take care of it. As you can see here, everything is, is actually going smooth. Um, by doing this, you're almost done from everything during the upload. All what you need to do, you need to finish. So you click finish right here. And that's it. So we just finished the upload. Let's start to go to the system and try to validate if the uh, uh, the file has been uploaded correctly or not. I'm going to go to KS03. We uploaded T005. Uh, let's see here. As you can see, we just finance department and we uploaded also 3006. 3006. As you can see, it's been uploaded as well. So th this is how you actually upload uh, master data into s 4 hana and it's certainly it's way much easier. It's cleaner. It's actually follow this like the, the 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 templates, the fields from SAP, so you don't have to worry about creating your own templates. So that's pretty much how we how we upload in, in s 4 hana using Migration Cockpit. Thank you so much, and I look forward to speak to you again. Appreciate it. This is Ahmed Mwalid.